Good morning and happy Monday. Today is Monday, March 23rd. I've had a lot of people ask me to do a day in the life vlog, so I thought, let's go ahead and do one. There's not much else going on right now, so let's do a day in the life vlog. So it is about 6.20 a.m. I've been up since five. Been doing a little bit of knitting, as I think you will have seen. I think I got a tiny little video. Eric left for work a little while ago. I was so hoping he would work from home again this week. He worked from home last week, but the military base is open and running. He is in at work, keeping his distance from everybody. <laughs> but I am gonna make myself some breakfast and some coffee because it is much needed this morning. And then get the day started. I don't really have too much planned today. I have some cleaning to get done, just normal Monday stuff that I always do. Change the sheets, I'm gonna wash the boys' bedding, it's the day to wash their bedding. Um, clean the kitchen, vacuum, mop downstairs. But I'm gonna wait and do that later, once everybody is up and moving, the kids are still sleeping. So right now, it's breakfast, coffee, and then knitting. While I was making my breakfast, I realized I have some bananas that are a little too far beyond eating. They're about ready for some banana bread. These ones are getting a little close as well, so the kids need to eat these up today. So I thought I would make some banana bread muffins today, so I put the butter and eggs out to let it come to room temperature. So I will make that a little later today. I've opened all the windows to let the morning light in, and this is without a doubt my favorite time of the morning. I'm gonna sit down and get some knitting done. Just a little bit, I'm gonna do a couple more rows, finish out the repeat that I'm on on my March Desert Vista Dye Work socks, drink some coffee, turn on a knitting podcast. Yeah, and just relax for a couple of moments this morning. I'm trying to keep in my normal routine as much as possible during all of this isolation and you know the kids being home and the whole just upheaval of our normal lives for everybody. I'm trying to keep things as normal as possible in my normal routine as much as I can. So yeah, just gonna enjoy some knitting and then start in working on some designs that I need to finish up the second socks for because the release date's April 1st and I still don't have the second sock done. <laughs> so that's on the agenda for today. But first I'm gonna finish out the pattern repeat on these. I've had a lot of people ask if we still have our German Shepherd. You guys don't see her very often. But yes, of course we still have her. She's still with us. She's getting up there in the years. Lately, she's definitely been showing that, but she's still here, aren't you? only going to finish out the pattern repeat that I was on but I did that and then did one other pattern repeat. I only have one more pattern repeat before I start the heel flap. So I don't know I think I'll put it up for now and do the other pattern repeat tomorrow. I am getting close to the end of the month though and these do need to be done and I am so enjoying it but I do need to get to work this morning. I can't sit and play all morning unfortunately. Although my work is a lot of playing, I feel like, but coffee is gone. 
So I'm off to make another cup and then get started on working on the scrappy sock designs, which I will show you as soon as I have more coffee. I went to get up and I totally realized I did not even tell you guys what pattern this is. Goodness. So this is my mahogany run socks pattern. I'm really pleased with how it looks in self-striping. And it's a lot of fun. Just a very simple ribbed pattern with some yarn overs. And it is, well, all of my patterns right now are 30% off if you use the code SAVE30. So I'll link everything down below and put the coupon code there as well. But this yarn is, if you watch the podcast, you will have already heard all about these socks. But this yarn is Desert Vista Dye Works in the Charlotte's Web colorway. I've been watching Amy of Noble Character Crafts, latest episode. It's a very positive, encouraging episode, and I love it so much. design that I'm working on is in this bag by Tanny Casey and this bag it's a mess in here look at this so I have a design that I've been working on I have two samples of it here that I'm gonna finish the second socks for so this is the first one that I did and this is using gray held throughout and then also mini skeins you can see the different ones here that I've used. Um, these were just scraps that I had left over. So it's a perfect pattern for using up scraps. Fun texture along the front. And this was my first idea. And then my friend Susan of Desert Vista Dye Works said, you know, that would look great with self-striping. So she's going to be doing some kits for it. This is one of them, the sample that I knit up. And now I need to finish the second sock. And also, I don't really have a name for this pattern yet. I was thinking scrappy socks. Just a basic, simple name. Because this is what I started with. But then I've also used a self-striping. So if you guys have any ideas on a name for this sock pattern, let me know below. I can't decide on a name. So the second socks, let's see where they are. This the bag is seriously, I've got everything for both socks in here. It's a mess. So here's one. I did the heel onto the gusset. And I think this one's pretty tangled up. I haven't touched these in a while. And here's the second. So I have got to get both of these finished and pictures done oh brother that's the goal I think I'll alternate back and forth do a little bit on one and then a little bit on the other to work through the foot on both of them shouldn't take me too long
goodness. So it is way later in the day. It's about three, almost 3.20. My hair is a mess. I've been cleaning and doing all the things, but I finally sat back down to get some work done on these two socks. I still have plenty of time this month to get them done, but I'm anxious to have them off of my needles because they've been on there for quite a bit. So I made the muffins. I got all the laundry done that needed done today. Vacuumed and mopped the entire downstairs. Cleaned off the furniture from little Miss Gracie Bell here and the cats. So now I'm ready to relax. Eric will be home in about, I don't know exactly what time. It differs, probably one to two hours. And then I will make some rice to go and a vegetable to go with our dinner. We're having some leftover pulled pork that he made in the crock pot. So I just have to make a, some rice and a vegetable and that'll be dinner. So I'm hoping for a pretty relaxing evening with lots of knitting. So it's now about 6 p.m. Eric came home and we had dinner and then I came up and I've had my shower and now I'm in my PJs. Just sat down here on the bed to chat with y'all for a minute. I'm hoping to go downstairs and get some knitting done. We'll probably watch something on TV. But thank you guys so much for watching this day in the life vlog. Let me know if this is something that you would like to see more of here on the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. I've really enjoyed recording it today and I've been editing throughout the day. I've stopped and added videos in and edited and it's been a lot of fun to put together. So I would love to do more of these if this is something you guys would be interested in. So just let me know down below and this will probably be the last bit that I talk for this vlog. I'll try to record a little bit of whatever I work on this evening. I'm not sure what I'll grab and work on, but yeah, let me know below this video if you wanna see more vlogs and I will chat with you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.